Good morning everybody. Well, I have cleaned my house in places where I never thought I would have to. This chandelier is absolutely clean. And if you watch my video yesterday where I did it, and it worked, it is so clean. But what I want to mention today, let's go out here to say hi to Enzo. Enzo, you're up early Enzo. Well, there's been a lot of things with this lockdown that has bothered a lot of people. I mean, uh, well, I think the one that's bothering most people is the fact that cigarettes and alcoholic beverages are not allowed to be sold here in South Africa. And they are angry. They, they don't want it to be like that. They want it to be sold. And I don't think people realize exactly what is happening at the moment, what is really going on. And uh, a pandemic, what does that bring? And it is from certain points of view, you can understand it. But if you're not in that point of view, you're not going to understand it. And I would like to tell people that, and I don't really want to because people don't want to hear these things. but. Yeah, they've been asking the same question for a long time and they're not getting any answers. So, let me tell you why cigarettes and alcohol is not to be sold during a pandemic. Well, in South Africa we have a large population that does not have money. And even worse, don't have access to credit. Now, credit and money is not the same thing. Credit is when you are able to buy without having money. Money is what you are able to buy with. That's the two. Okay. The problem is we've got a lot of people at the moment that don't have money or credit. So, they are going to be getting 350 Rand from the government every month. Just because it's a pandemic, they cannot go and work, it's not possible for them to go and work, but they have to live with 350 Rand for the month. And most of them are smokers and they drink a beer now and then. Now, think about this. How many, how many packets of cigarettes can you buy with 350 Rand and two or three beers? And then what happens then? Then they've got no money whatsoever to live with, to buy food, a blanket. I bought a blanket yesterday. It was 200 Rand for a small little blanket. So winter is approaching. Think about it. How are these people going to live with 350 Rand a month? Now, before this happened, I did my own calculations and I thought that they should get at least 800 Rand a month. Now that is almost, well, you know how many times more it is. And I thought to myself, that will give them food, being able to buy a blanket, maybe a pair of shoes, and that's it. And we're not talking designer shoes. I mean, things can cost really much in South Africa. But we're talking about surviving. We're not talking about living. But if you are just at your house, you're doing nothing, you just have to eat and keep the peace, you can probably get around with, I'd say, I'm going to push it, 500 Rand a month. Then you're doing nothing. Then you're just eating. Electricity, you're not going to be able to buy electricity. So the 350, I, I, I don't know how they're going to do it. But yeah, that is why... If you're going to let people still take that 350 Rand and give them the option of buying cigarettes and alcohol, you are not going to solve this. You are preparing yourself for looters because that 350 Rand is basically a looting fee. That is to prevent people from having to go and loot. I don't want to loot. I don't think I would want to, but if I were in that position and I don't have a choice 
and I have to, or my children, well, my children eat big pieces of meat. <laughs> but if that happens, you cannot prevent people from eating and surviving at least. That 350 Rand is designed for that. And it's a lot of money for South Africa because we do have, uh, we just came out of a recession. Uh, we, I don't even think we came out of it. I think we were still stuck in it when this pandemic hit. And believe me, I do a lot of stuff and I know how to make money. I know how to do it. I don't want to. I don't, there's other people doing things. I don't want to take their work away from them. It's just a thing. I'm a YouTuber now. YouTube do pay me. I live reasonably good. I'm happy with what they give me. And um, I can feed all my boys. And uh, I can live. So I don't have that problem. I don't smoke. And uh, I want to tell people that is why. Because you cannot have people buying unnecessary goods when they are supposed to buy food. And uh, they're not even going to buy drinks and stuff. They're going to drink water. Believe me. So I think the best way to do this thing is to just think about it for a while before any more comments are being put out there. If you are selfish enough, I, w I don't want to call it selfish because if you are addicted, you're not doing things out of selfishness. You're doing things because you are addicted. But there comes a time when you have to realize that this is now how it is. And this thing is going to go on for a few months. And is everybody just going to walk back to work? I know that there is a lot of companies where stuff has been stolen. It's gone. Those companies are not starting up again. So if you think that this thing is going to be over within a month, you're wrong. It's never going to be over. We will only survive and carry on from where we left off. We can make improvements, but the losses are losses. But now, yeah, the cigarette thing, it's mostly people that are in a very comfortable position. And they smoke because they've smoked the whole life. And if you ask them, but why don't you quit? They say they don't want to quit. And it's their right. But I think this is a great opportunity for someone to quit. I mean... If you compare this, let's say your own body, you are putting substances in your own body that's not supposed to be there. If you take your car, for instance, I mean, here's my car. Let me show you. Here it is. This is an expensive car. And if I was so comfortable to smoke, it means that I would have been so comfortable to put a little bit of sand every day in the oil of this car. Why can't I do it? I mean, it's got a, it's got a filter, it's got an oil filter, it can take the sand out. But why would I do that? It's the same when you basically have your body to take care of. Why would you put that stuff in? Just because you're addicted, you need to be stronger than addiction. You have to get over it. You have to quit. And if you don't quit, it's okay. But I have seen, my dad had a heart attack 15 years ago and the doctor came out to him and said, congratulations, sir, you just stopped smoking. And he is still going today. Only thing he did was he stopped smoking. So it helps believe me i remember that day it was almost his last day and he made it but alcohol is another thing well everywhere they are reporting that there's no stab wounds nobody's shooting one another people are not drinking and driving i suppose there is some but it is making everything calm everybody can cope we can sit back, just do nothing, and be okay. So that is what you have to realize with this kind of thing. There is bigger fish to fry at the moment. They cannot go and allow you to smoke. And if they do, 
I can, I can give a suggestion. I've thought about this. Maybe the supermarkets can be allowed to sell loose drawers, just one smoke at a time. But they're going to have to increase the price rapidly. They can make it a great thing. They can make it a, a donation thing, money that goes for that. But sell it expensive, like maybe 10 rand. It's not expensive, but let's make it, let's make it 20 rand for one cigarette. That is like a dollar a cigarette. And people can buy three and they can have a cigarette, try and stop smoking. And that money can go to people who we need to prevent from having to loot. That is a great idea. I don't know if people would do that. I would have done that uh, because winter is approaching. I've been cold in my life. I know what it feels like. It hurts. I don't like to be cold. Sleeping in a bed without a warm blanket during the winter, it's cold. It hurts right through the winter. I don't want that to be a problem for all the others. Or if they don't have money to have a warm blanket or electricity or whatever. Let all those things be available for them. And it can come from the cigarettes and the alcohol. The alcohol is a little difficult because you get to a point where you don't know what you're doing and then it becomes dangerous. But yeah, this is just a little video where I answer that question. I hope you can understand it. I mean, don't be angry at me. I'm just giving you my thoughts. And, um, be glad I'm not the president of South Africa. Of course, I would have handled it a bit more strict. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we are doing okay. We have to watch out for outbreaks later. Don't ease up just because it's a level 4. Treat it like a level 5. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you get something from that. Like always, have a great day.